Good afternoon and welcome to Warner CI. I'm your host Blind Prime and for today we're going to be doing a checkup video on the Assembly Square build so far. Uh, my roommate, the uh, the guy who's been building it for me, discovered EVE Online over the past week during the Thanksgiving holiday. So it may be a little bit longer before he can build more on this. Uh, any of you out there who've played EVE Online, you completely understand what's happened now. I know it happened to me back when I was in college. Evo Line, yeah. It surprised me that game is still going on. I mean, wow. Um, I'm actually on their uh, on their wall. They have in uh, in Iceland. They they the CCP the the people that do Evo Line. They built an entire little wall and put a bunch of characters' names on it. And I'm there. Isn't that neat? One of my characters. I think it was named. Uh, Santherius Cordy or something like that. Anyway, he's there. And uh, there's a couple of monuments floating around in the EVE Online uh, universe that I my names are out also on uh, for things that I participated in while I was playing the game. That's pretty neat that, uh, you know, I was there long enough to have my name recorded. And uh, then I went blind and couldn't play anymore. And I'm like, you know what? My name's on a few statues. I'm good. <laughs> I can retire from this. With a happy life, I've made a permanent mark on this game, and uh, so uh, he's discovered it. And he keeps coming to me like, "Hey, you got any suggestions for this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man, you gotta study drones. All the drones. You need the drones. You really need them. And uh, get yourself a venture." He's like, "Boy, I just got a venture. What is that anyway?" And I went, "It's the tugboat of awesomeness." <laughs> oh, oh, those those are fun days. I remember a time before the venture was a ship in the Evil Line, and ooh the early days of mining before you had access to the something like the venture just dragged on all right but today we're not talking about eve online we're talking about the uh assembly square and uh, we've covered bags one and two that was the uh the buildings here and all of the uh all of the nice tile work going on but the flower shop and the bakery both were a part of bag number one and two. Uh, the flower shop sign did come in bag number three, and it's a cool sign. It's a, it's a couple of tulips. You can tell the tulips because they're these big round flowers, and I think that's tulips, so that's really neat. And I really love the way that these, they're using these little hand, uh, the little uh, side grasper pieces that you can put on a, you know, modified one by ones with a grasper on the side. I love how they're using them to make a uh, to make kind of an eave around this building. It's a really nice texture. And then they're using those one by ones with grass uh, modified with grass for on the top over on the bakery to make a really nice dewy texture too. I love that. I really do love that they're doing these fun textures. So over here is what mainly came in bag number three, and that is the cafe. Now. I have a few characters hanging out in the cafe because I, uh, back in 2020, I bought the Iron Man Hall of Armor set, so, and I also got the War Machine and his, uh, crazy mecha thing, uh, because I was like, well, if I have Iron Man, then I need War Machine, and it came with, like, five Iron Man, and then I have War Machine on, on top, and now I have, you know, there's Iron Man and War Machine sharing coffee with one another, I have an Iron Man actually inside the, uh, the cafe here. The cafe is pretty nice. We've got uh, some seating, a little table out front under this really amazing eve with these fun lights that are done really weird. This is an odd piece. Let's see. Um, it's really odd and I have to say that it's definitely on the unique end of pieces, but uh, I don't even know how this was done. There's no way to really, oh, there it goes. All right, so let's see what we got here for this unique piece that becomes the light. I thought this was a fun little build. So you get a one by one stud, and then you have that uh, like little discus piece that has it modified with a stud in the center. Um, they usually use them as the round trash can lids. And then you have this piece that's uh, usually used as a faucet. It's got the, the, the negative stud on the bottom, and it's got the positive stud on the top, and then it's got that bar that comes off the side. And, uh, and that connects to this piece that's not very, not, not used very often. And it's got a, it's got a little grasper in on a little, little circle for, uh, you know, minifigures can hold it and stuff like that. And then it comes down this little, uh, tube to a hole that the end of this P 
piece, that little bit that sticks out the side, uh, sticks into that. And then it snaps onto a little grabber claw piece that's then attached there. And then you can just snap that in place. And the little light hangs just really nice. And there's two of them, one on each side of the awning. And then there's uh, another one over here, I think, in this area of the awning. I want to say it is, but uh, yeah, there it is. It's hiding. There it is. A little, little light. There's not really a... Uh, wait, nope. There's a little light hiding underneath the alley there. Uh, in the... Awning to the left, which is a really good awning. I like the, uh, they use those side pieces. I'm going to get in there with a 1x8 and actually put it underneath these teeth to help stabilize them and to stop them from being able to just be pulled off. They all are there, and they need a 1x8 to really just hold this stuff together a little better. Just, just for sturdiness purposes, I'm going to give it a 1x8. Um, other than that... In this little seats, and I can't really get the camera in there. Oops, I knocked him over. Uh, in the little seats, I have David Capali, Doctor, hanging out with the Abraham Lincoln that came with the Lego movie uh, character packs. I uh, I really want there to be more uh, presidents that we can have here, and so Abraham Lincoln, and I want to, I want more presidents. Personally, I want a Teddy Roosevelt. Let me get a Teddy Roosevelt mini minifigure. Uh, now that's kind of the exterior. We can spin it around and we can showcase the back of this thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we are. All right, now on the back we have this fun vine. They, uh, they use this really interesting build technique to get these, um, these little leaves climbing up the back of the building and it makes it look like a really nice vine. I have some flower pieces I'm going to come back in and uh, put in all these little holes to just kind of colorize it a bit. And let's see if they left us a frog. Uh, there's usually a frog in these sets, so maybe there's a frog down here? Let's see. No, not even a frog. Is that a frog? No, that's not a frog. I don't know what that piece is, but that's not a frog. No frogs this time. Very weird. There's usually at least one frog hanging out in this set, so maybe it'll show up in another bag. But uh, there's a back door, and in this little alleyway here, there's actually a little staircase and a door that leads to it. And this staircase is, of course, going to go up into the apartment building that will be a part of this build. And I do enjoy this little alley between the cafe and the flower shop. It's fun. It's not very wide. It's like four studs wide. And... Uh, comes out to this little back door for the flower shop. But the door opens and closes off that alley, which is kind of neat. You know, if a zombie invasion happens, you can always just hold that door and stop them from coming down the alley at you. Fun things. Okay, well, that's kind of the exterior of this. We've got, you know, two doors. The front door, which is at a uh, diagonal. And then we have the back door here, both of them glass. And then we have a uh, solid kind of house door with little windows cut out of it for the hallway. The same type of door that we have for this rear door for the flower shop. Now let's turn everything back around and I'll finish talking about the cafe. Yeah, there we are. Because there's not really much to talk about the staircase. It's just a staircase that goes up. And in the cafe, we have a barista. And in the, we also have this really, there's a really nice coffee machine built into here. And I think that's an espresso machine. And that's some just basic cafe stuff. You've got these big bins with like giant cups. I assume they're supposed to be holding like coffee mixers and stuff like that. I actually have some chopsticks from a Lego City set. I'm just going to put in there. Uh, they can be, you know, the chopsticks can pretend to be, uh, you know, mixing spoons and stuff. And then there's a piece of pie on a plate. Let's see if we can get that plate up there. Let's see if we can get the plate with the pie on it out of here. There it goes. Okay. Oops. Knocked something over. Isn't that what I do, though? No, I'm just, I'm just the best at it. Let's see, put that guy there. The barista, you're okay. Cool. And then nothing else gonna pull off. Good. I didn't break anything when I removed the pie. So this is the pie piece. It's a, it's a little pie with a, uh, or oh, it's a pie piece on top of a piece of ice cream. 
So they, they, they put the pie on top of a little chunk of ice cream. It's ice cream and pie. It works out pretty good. If you've never had a cherry pie with ice cream, I recommend it. And if you've never had apple pie with cheddar cheese, I also recommend that one. Okay. Now we come over here to the inside. There's an inside table. It's a booth style with uh, the ability to put two minifigures on it, but it's only four studs long, so one of the minifigures can't actually sit down. They can, uh, they, they, they can't really sit down. You, you could sit the last one in the booth seat down, lock him into place, and then the uh, one next to them will be loose, but won't fall, fall out when you spin them after the, the uh, Iron Man again. This is the Iron Man from the end of the, from one of the uh, Marvel movies, I think. But they're all, all the Iron Man in here. So there's a booth there. That's the door. It, have little characters come out and in through there. There's not really a booth on the side here. Uh, I'm just, just knocking him around. Nuts dropped him. Uh, come here. Come here. Thank you. Get. Get. Get him. Thank you. Let's put you standing back up at the counter. There we go. Yeah, you want your pot. Iron Man, get your... Get your Iron Man. Iron Man, why are you fighting me? Huh? Get your pie, sir. There we go. No? Okay, um, now we have a little more pie on the uh, booth table off to the side. There isn't really a booth uh, in front of it. There's only the back seats against the back wall of the building. And then in the back here, we have another booth that only has chairs enough for one person sitting down with his piece of pie. And it's a, another Iron Man in there, of course, because they've got like six of them in here. And then there's a little back uh, area to get to that rear door. But there's not really anything in there except for really nice tiling and, of course, a barista that fell over. Poor barista. Uh, and the staircase that goes up around it. But all that has is tiling in there. And uh, finally, we talk about the sign. This building, the cafe, is lower than the other two buildings in this grouping. But its sign is really neat. You get this really nice mug piece. It's not a coffee cup. It's it's a big old stein mug. And they have the little flower coming. Not a flower. A feather piece coming out the top to act as steam. And it's got this starburst pattern you can build around the back of it. And that just kind of gives it the boom, coffee kind of feel. It's like an onomatopoeia of a sign. It's really cool. Uh, so overall, that is what you get in bag number three. It's been a fun set so far. I, uh, I'm hoping that my roommate can take some time out of uh, Evil Lot to build some more of this. And, uh, and then I'll bring it to you as, a, as we build more bags. Uh, I think there's bags four, five, and six, seven, and eight left. I think there's eight different bag series. I'm not 100% sure on that. It isn't like I can just go and look at the box and double check that for myself. I'll have to ask somebody who's cited to go double check that one for me. But thank you so much for watching today's video, and uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on this ride of building Assembly Square over time. And uh, when, as far as uh, HasLab updates go, I'll update you whenever I have more news about the HasLabs. Uh, so yeah, tune in for that. Uh, I will keep you informed as soon as I know things. You'll know things. Mm, that way we can uh, we can all know things together. Thanks again for watching, and I hope all of you had a, a great Thanksgiving holiday last week. And, uh, of course, Merry Christmas and Happy Festivus. Until next Friday. Bye-bye for now.